It is a little bit unnerving, but it's just part of the process. I'm trying not to watch today, quite honestly. So we're all used to surrounding the screen on election night. State after state is called, the map fills out, red and blue, a victory speech, a concession speech, and we're done. Well, here comes 2020. And it's been a, a rough, rough year for everyone. Um, I told you I'd probably cry. The year we have to do all of this again, wait longer. Uh, I feel a little bit uneasy about it, so I'm waiting for the results. Would uh, wish that uh, the states, the battleground states where they have outstanding votes could kind of get their act together. I think it's to be expected. Every state kind of has a different method of, uh, of counting their votes. We now are, are in, a, I guess, a legal battle. Who knows? Another day glued to our phone screens, laptops, TVs buzzing in every background, counting, contesting. A few more results. A Wednesday. We're not used to the blue and red pendulum continuing as we inch closer to that magic number, 270. Because it's, it's so close, you don't know if it's going to turn out in your favor or not. What do I think about the, the long wait? I think it's very hard on, on everyone, uh, whether you're a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter. Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.